Hi everyone, and welcome back to the State of the Web. In this episode, we're doing something a little different. As you can see, we're out of the studio. Tonight, we're hosting an event between two groups that normally don't mingle, the New York Web Performance Meetup Group and the WordPress NYC Meetup Group. We're hoping to have a kind of cross-pollination of knowledge between the groups. Maybe the WordPress folks will teach the web performance folks a little bit about the CMS ecosystem. Maybe the web performance folks will teach the WordPress folks how to keep a fast website. So I'm really excited to kick this off. Let's get started. I am here tonight with the WordPress Meetup. I'm just looking to learn everything I can about WordPress and be able to speed up my website to help out my clients and people coming to the site. I want to learn uh, more about SEO, um, and I just really want to learn more about the, the back end applicable for people who do not design and code. I am not a developer, so I have to teach myself all the WordPress tricks. I'm hoping to learn how to optimize the site so the user performance is more enjoyable. Hopefully it won't be over my head. <laughs> All right, so I'm here with the co-organizers of the meetup, Winstina Hughes and Sergey Chernyshev. So Sergey, how long have you been with the Web Performance Group? Well, um, I started the first Web Performance Group in the world, so since the inception. What were some of the one. tools that came up tonight uh, that you would recommend to WordPress developers, even web developers as a whole? I feel the most universal tool I recommend all the time is to measure performance. It's web page test is an open source tool we use all the time. It lets you know what what's fast, what's not, because you, as a regular person, you cannot know what's inside a computer. What are some challenges of being a community organizer? First, I'd like to say that there's so many opportunities. Um, the opportunities that we have are, you know, through WordCamp Central. We really do have a support system, um, both financial and both um, experience. Another opportunity is being part of such a welcoming meetup group. We have about you know, 6,600 members. And so the challenge becomes creating um, spaces for our meetups. It's really expensive to hold meetup events in New York City. And um, just finding a venue alone is our biggest challenge. And I would say, even if uh, we had some members who are not very technical, they still could, uh, hopefully came uh, out, of the, out of this event, understand performance without necessarily being technical themselves. How can they evaluate and work with, with the developers on making the website faster, even if they cannot do it on their own? So let's talk about the topic of the night, WordPress. Winston, can you give us a sense of like how popular is WordPress? So WordPress is one third of the web. One third. One third. Yeah. One out of every three websites is WordPress. Yeah, WordPress is definitely, um, you know, expanded to the point in which it's one third of the web. It's That's pretty incredible. exciting. So does that mean that there are so many WordPress developers? Are there people who might not have expertise in web development mm -hmm. that are also making WordPress sites? Uh, it means that, that there are a lot of WordPress fanatics. So, you know, these, you could say that there are a lot of people who, um, are inspired by the open source software. You don't have to be a developer. You don't have to have like a computer science background in order for you to build a WordPress site. Well, thank you both so much for helping to organize this event. I think it was a success. I think people took a lot out of it. And to the viewers, thank you for watching. If you have any insights or comments about the intersection of web performance and WordPress, be sure to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. <laughs>